Sex offender, the biggest pedophile of them all, Raymond Wali, has gotten away virtually. Najran Ayman, head of the advocacy and policy and campaigns, uh, London, joins us at this point. Najrana, thanks for talking to us. Now, is this the lacuna within the prosecution system itself, that there is no separate unit, somebody who's equipped to handle cases of uh, transnational child abuse that's come back to bite the cross of the prosecution? Um, I wouldn't say that it's a lacuna in the prosecution system. This is basically how the UK court system would work and the Crown prosecution itself would have its own specialist department that works on extradition cases. But um, obviously we're very disappointed um, with the decision and there's, there's a clear, um, it's quite evident that the reason that the judges came to this decision was because of the fact that um, the uh, lawyers for India did have uh, the opportunity to submit evidence, um, medical evidence uh, with regard to Bali's mental state, um, they were asked by the judge whether they wished to do so, and they uh, declined to do so. So where the um, failings have been uh, would be something would, that we would want to look into in terms of what were the discussions between the, uh, the government of India and the lawyers who were representing them. No, but isn't it also frustrating that because of a technicality or an oversight by the prosecution, uh, a man who has violated and abused children for so many years is allowed to get away, Nazrana. It, it is definitely quite frustrating, um, particularly given the fact that since these are offences, um, allegations of offences of quite historical nature, um, the uh, law that would allow Bali to be charged in the UK wouldn't apply retrospectively. So um, effectively, there are no charges against him in this country, and uh, if he is not extract, extracted to India as this is the decision in this case would um, be that he is not extradited to India, then he is going. Uh, he is not going to be tried. But but doesn't doesn't the UK government actually clearing his extradition hold any uh, hold hold water, Najrana here, or will the court only hold on to the oversight that you did not exercise the right of an independent uh, you know counsel or a medical expert when you had the time to? Yeah, I mean, um, as, as we were hearing in the court today, really the, the case just rested on this one point. The fact that the district judge made his decision based on the evidence that was before him and that evidence did not include any um, separate expert uh, witness for India. So it really was this one point that the case was decided on uh, as to the uh, whether the district judge could make that decision on the adequacy of the evidence that was in front of him. Now, there is the option of uh, placing an appeal uh, at the front of the Lord Chief Justice England and Wales. W but will that help or, or will, does India and uh, the prosecution stand there also uh, with the balance tilted against them? Given the way that this particular appeal was decided, it's difficult to say that um, a further appeal would, whether that would be of value or not. But um, we would certainly uh, be in touch with the CPS to sort of try to determine what um, they feel would be the best way to take uh, this particular case forward and what they think the next steps should be. Well, we are given to understand that there is a, a significant amount of diplomatic pressure also that's been exercised. But will that be of any avail? That's difficult for us to say. I mean, we have also uh, read reports of the fact that um, India's foreign uh, minister has been in touch with the UK foreign minister, in, uh, particularly with this um, case in mind. But whether that would make a significant difference, uh, it's uh, very difficult for us to say, being on the outside and not knowing what kinds of um, dialogue has been going on between the governments. Well, uh, Nadra, uh, Nadrana, now, uh, given what transpired in court today, uh, who would you want to put the blame on squarely for what has transpired? Because somebody like a Raymond Warley deserves to be punished for his offences. And now he seems on, on, on a flimsy ground and, and, and uh, something which has worked his way, he seems to be getting away. Um, I wouldn't want to sort of, uh, you know, place blame on any one party or other, but the case preparation certainly could have been better, um, you know, in terms of uh, when evidence was raised with regard to his medical state, with his mental um, state. There certainly should have been more uh, push to encounter that evidence with independent um, expert evidence commissioned by the Indian government and the lawyers working on their behalf. Certainly I would say that um, there has been sort of a failing in that regard. And uh, which is quite disappointing, given that that is the one sole um, point on which uh, Bali's extradition has been um, denied. Very, very unfortunate and absolutely frustrating. Najrana Iman, thanks for talking to us.